Welcome, welcome to the Tom Style Show. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate all the support. Today, we're gonna do a quick react video on Liver King Apology. I, I uh, you know, I don't know many people in this uh, social media world. I have pretty much no clue about this young generation, but Liver King, I do know. I actually, uh, you know, this this apology is definitely not a surprise to me. This whole steroid usage, and you know, absolutely not a surprise to me. And I don't think it's a surprise for anybody that has done any any kind of lifting. If you have done some kind of lifting, tried a little bit of bodybuilding or anything with creatine, protein, some supplements, you know, you already know there is no way <laughs> you're getting that. That's just not happening. You know, so this six pack abs and all these implants or whatever people say, I don't think these are implants, but these are heavy steroid usage. Uh, but he came out clean. He came out with an apology. Some people liked it. Some people disliked it. I did accept the apology. I'm okay with it. And, you know, you might say, you know, why are you even accepting apology? This is, this is true story. I'm not kidding. This is true story. So I have been seeing this Liver King guy all over social media, and I'm like, wow, that's interesting. And then uh, the talking point, he has this whole ancestral living, the nine tenets of ancestral living, the simulated hunt. And he does all these crazy things. He goes to Africa and, you know, does hunting with the tribe. He goes to different places like Mongolia, the Saudi Arabia, and he's uh, walking with a, with a lion and stuff. He, and he's in every podcast. He's literally all over podcasting. He's podcast hopping. And, and, and these podcast people, they ask him the same question. Are you taking any steroid? Are you taking any PED? No. That's where he definitely messed up. I think the first time he kind of caught off guard or something, you know, you like, hey, no, 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 I don't touch that stuff. I don't, you know, he says in a very charismatic way. <laughs> and then, you know, he kept repeating, kept repeating. Then uh, recently this uh, more plates, more dates guy, uh, Derek, he exposed his email and all the $10,000 steroid per month that he's been taking. And, you know, it, it was not a surprise, but it kind of came out like a documentary. It's in you know, everybody's like, oh, you know what? We told you so. And Joe Rogan, <laughs> Joe Rogan loves to talk about it. You know, he goes in. Because, you know, Liver King is a funny, funny, funny guy. And the whole character, I love the whole thing, uh, except the cover up. You know, he didn't need to do the cover up. Uh, I don't know why he did it, but, you know, that, that's what happened. Now, this is true story. I'm not kidding. I, I, I've been seeing him on social media, and I'm like, wow. Is this ancestral thing? It, I'm, I was 90% sure there is no way. You know, I, I was very sure he's doing PED, but I was like, maybe. Maybe, maybe it's something with the ancestral living thing. Maybe I got to, because I grew up in cities, right? So I, I don't know about the, 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 the lifestyle that he's preaching. So I'm like, maybe that might be beneficial. So I was thinking about that. So I literally, this is not, a, this, this is true. I literally hired a trainer and the trainer said, Tom, uh, you know, just lifting weight and eating junk food is not going to work. You got to eat clean. You have to have lean meal. That's what he said. And I said, man, you have no idea. And that guy is a bodybuilder. He's an actual bodybuilder. Uh, so I, I said, this guy knows nothing. He knows nothing about ancestral living. He knows nothing about the liver king. All you got to do is eat raw liver. Because I saw liver king eating, uh, you know, French fries, like a gigantic bowl of French fries. He's eating raw liver and a bunch of meat. And he's like, oh, I, I finished all these patties, you know, beef patties. I was like, wow, that's the life I want to have. You know, I want to be eating all that stuff and lifting and, you know, still going to look good. I was, and the, the trainer said, no, 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 that's not going to work. You know, there is no way you could be eating a bunch of pizza and all these burgers and French fries and, and, and you, can, you can have six packs of any kind. So I was like, okay, the trainer is fired. So I literally fired him. I, I said, no, 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 you know nothing about ancestral living, man. This, you're fired. That's not going to happen. And then, but then I kept reading 
stuff online and I was pretty convinced when Joe Rogan said it, then I was like 100% convinced that he's on PED. Otherwise, he cannot be eating that much French fries and cookies and all kinds of stuff and still going to have this physique. Uh, because one thing, you know, if you have been on creatine, if you've done any kind of mass gainer or any supplements, anything, you kind of know you can either bulk up naturally, you can bulk up or you can cut you know, you can cut down everything and you can, that will cut into muscles as well. You cannot do both. You cannot be bulking up like crazy and also be super cut and walking around with a six pack. That's not going to happen. That's naturally that can happen if you're uh, on roids, you know, that's fine. No problem. Uh, so, and, and then, you know, Joe Rogan finds it very entertaining. The whole liver king character is so entertaining. And then I was, uh, I was, looking at a bunch of reaction video and, uh, you know, PewDiePie did a reaction. I'm like, PewDiePie was retired. You know, he came back from retirement to talk about the liver king? <laughs> Give me a break. Oh, my God. And, uh, you know, and, and, and PewDiePie is like, okay, you know, the 15-year-olds uh, might be misled into this world. I'm like, okay, PewDiePie, listen, 15-year-olds are pretty smart. They're not, uh, you know, they might be misled, but after they buy some of his supplement, this whatever uh, kidney and uh, he has all kinds of raw meat and stuff, you know, after they eat some of that for a couple of months, after they try some lifting for a couple of months, I don't think they're going to be still that stupid that, oh, okay, that's not working. <laughs> you know, they, they will read up all these stuff online and they'll figure it out. So I don't think it's like insanely misleading because it was pretty self-evident. But the other thing, you know, uh, having said that, there is, you know, I, I'm not defending his position. He should have come clean. Why, why is he lying about steroid usage? That's pretty stupid on his part. But, you know, he was a wildly entertaining character. And it kind of reminded me, you know, the, the reason I, I grew up in cities, so I, I don't know much about the ranch lifestyle, the whole, you know, the rural life and things like that. That was always fascinating to me. And uh, I watched all the episodes of Doug Dynasty. And I, I kind of feel like I know Willie Robertson. I know Jace. I know Uncle Cy. I, I know all the characters like inside out. I was just so much into it. And it had nothing, you know, it was entertaining for sure, but it's not a comedy or any, it, it, it's kind of comedy, but it's just different lifestyle than I have grown up in, right? The, the village life, the whole Monroe, Louisiana, they did the whole thing. And even, I, I think the initial episodes, they just spent like 20 grand and they did a whole episode. And later on, I think it, they spent millions to, to do it. Uh, for Liver King, it was kind of similar to me, you know, he, uh, and over there they had the duck calls, you know, the duck call room conversation, the burger cookout and all these. It was so entertaining. And I thought Liver King would do similar. He will always have. He goes to an African tribe. He does this hunting with them. He, he looks at the zoo where he could be literally killed by a lion. And he's like, oh, I see so much burger patty or I, I see so much meat all around me. I'm like, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> you see burger in a, when you could be attacked by a lion in a couple of seconds? <laughs> what? You know, so, but these things, he's the whole entertaining character. I think instead of going in this steroid and, uh, and then he tried to bring in some very motivational piece Oh, you know, so many people are uh, suicidal because of the low self-esteem and this and that. You know, we all know that it's it's not uh, a real invention. He has some statistics. He just throws like boom, 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 40,000 people, 80,000 people, this happened, that happened. And you're like, oh, yes, 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 sir. Okay. You know, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know why he has to uh, go that way, but I see he's trying to bring the motivational piece with his whole supplement and his whole uh, uh, the workout and all that stuff. Uh, but I, what now the question is, he went on the Andrew Schulz flagrant 
Andrew Schulz is wildly entertaining. I think he is definitely, uh, you know, all these networks are definitely going to be reaching out to him at some point or another because uh, Flagrant is, in my point of view, way more entertaining than all these Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, or uh, Stephen Colbert, or Gutfeld. Not, not, uh, not all of them like that, but what I'm saying, it's kind of that quality. And he's self-producing with a bunch of ads and sponsors. I, th I think he's doing very, very, very good job. So, uh, you know, because he has a bunch of comedians and you know, they can dominate the conversation. It's very, he was dominating even Liver King. But Liver King, you know, he came clean. He was, I, I, I thought he did good. He was, it was, a, it was a good interview. And Andrew was, you know, Andrew is very, very good at, at this right now. In, in the talk show world, I think, is Joe Rogan, number one. Andrew might be number two. Or, you know, there might be a bunch of other people. But, but Andrew is doing very good on that one. Um, so, yeah, let me not get distracted with Andrew. <laughs> Let's come back to the liver king. So, yeah, that's it. So this, this whole thing, now people are saying, okay, Tom, okay, uh, you know, you are kind of supportive of him, whereas the whole Internet hates him. <laughs> I'm like, okay, man, that's... People make mistakes. You gotta, you gotta forgive people, and you know it's. I understand that because the the reason Liver King was kind of I liked him because he's kind of older uh, person. He's like forty six or something, and you know most of the whole internet is more plates, more dates. All these people, these are all twenties, all twenties, early thirties, and I'm like, okay, you know what? I, I I like this guy. If he can do social media, maybe maybe I should join YouTube, and that's one of my reasons to join YouTube. <laughs> but, but you know, man, this guy, uh, wow. So now the question is, how is he gonna continue the conversation? One of the things I didn't like, he said, "Oh, I'm gonna go full natty," means natural, dude. Really? If, if he goes full natty, full naturally, looks super skinny, and nobody's going to buy anything. Yeah, nobody's going to even mention his name. He needs to keep up the physique. And even a lot of people started talking about uh, Dwayne Johnson all of a sudden. He's been doing <laughs> steroid before even steroid was born. <laughs> and people were like, oh, you know, how could he be doing movies? And you know, he needs to look good. He needs to look good. Otherwise, nobody's going to watch his movie, man. All these Marvel characters, if they look like super skinny guy walking around with cardio and stuff, no, nobody cares about that. People want to look. People want to see something worth looking at, right? That's the, that's the thing. And, and a lot of people are like, okay, you know, it's so misleading. It's so bad. I'm like, wait a second. Let me tell you something. When CrossFit came along, you know, uh, everybody, all the bodybuilders, everybody was complaining. Like, oh, my God, butterfly uh, pull-ups, all these uh, push-ups that, uh, you know, without any form. No form. The workouts are very, uh, you know, you can get injured. The form is not good, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I saw Arnold, they asked Arnold about it. Arnold says, you know what, people are working out. That's better than anything you can expect, you know. They might get injured, sure, the form is not good, but at least they're picking up the weight. They're doing cardio and, you know, weightlifting combination. That's kind of the CrossFit thing with high intensity. Uh, you know, I, it's okay. You know, if some, if some kid looks at Liver King and starts working out and wants to look like him someday, and maybe misled a little bit by eating some raw meat. So what? You know, <laughs> go work out, you know. He'll start to look good. And, you know, he's definitely not going to look that good without some sort of roids. But, uh, you know, some sort of gear. But, <laughs> but, you know, some sort of workout is better than nothing, right? So I, 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 I'm not super negative about this at all. Um, other thing people are mentioning that, you know, how is he going to run his supplement business? I think that's going to that's gonna take a hit. That's, he's going to have to wildly uh, sell discounted uh, products. But why isn't he going to, you know, he can do those uh, similar to this Doug Dynasty type, type of show with his 
good script writing. He can come up with all these interesting things. Because what is a Duck Dynasty? It was all funny and entertaining. People are very, you know, they're celebrating different things, different theme. And, you know, it's basically duck call based on the duck call room, right? So they were doing the whole uh, creating duck calls, the business processes, the problems we're really facing, things like that. He has so much content, right? He got the simulated hunt. He got the whole weightlifting and the whole ancestral tenets and all that. He has a lot of content. I think if he puts a lot of lot more content, makes it more entertaining with some sort of film direction, uh, he can definitely put up a show. Uh, and, and people will watch it because people are so tired of the city living, right? They, they want to watch something different. They want to see something different. That's why people watch Dog the Bounty Hunter, you know. People watch Tech Dynasty. People watch this stuff because they want to see something different, right? Uh, they don't want to see the NYC apartment living, the San Francisco lifestyle. They want to see something, uh, you know, different. I, I think he has that different content. And, uh, and in terms of his supplements, sure, some of these businesses will not do very well. But, you know, he will come up with something and, you know, with his social media it's going to be fine. Having said that, I'm going to try out some of his products. I did try out before, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do it again. Uh, I have some of his uh, stuff right here with my... I'm going to eat it in a liver king style. Let's see if that opens up. I'm not going to eat it in a... Ancestral style, you know, this is called the ancestral style. I came up with that. It's not liver king. So this is how you eat ancestral. Actually, my fork is going to break soon. If I try to, okay, that's not going to work. So you got to, okay. This is the ancestral eating of, uh, what is this? Liver King Bar. I need some sort of protein stuff. It's tasty. It's not too bad. I'm going to buy his supplement. No worries. <laughs> I don't know why am I promoting his stuff that has no business with me. But overall, my message is simple. He apologized, accept the apology, tell him to create entertaining content. Let him go to entertaining stuff. We love him on social media. We want to be entertained by him. And that's all good. You know, uh, let's not get too uh, obsessed about this roid usage and what happened, blah, 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 you know. Let him go on an apology tour, podcast hopping back again, and, you know, come up with something new. He needs to come up with new things, new materials. Liver King, we need new materials. All right, we need a new chef. We love the chef, whatever he has, uh, Lionel or something, you know, that guy that's very good. Uh, but yeah, we, we need new line of characters in the Liver King family. All right, so that's my video on the Liver King apology. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for supporting us. We really appreciate it. Please do subscribe. And uh, yeah, Tom Style out. Done.